Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to blur your image in Adobe InDesign so the first thing that I will need you to do is to add an image or an object or it may be a shape in Adobe InDesign or on your document and follow the simple steps so here to add the effect of uh, the blur uh, we need to do some tricks because uh, the Gaussian blur or the blur effect doesn't exist in Adobe InDesign so to do now we will need to add or to do some other effects to have a similar kind of similar effect of blur so the first one will be the effect of uh, the feather or the basic feather so I'm just going to basic feather and uh, go with a feather width and here you will uh, want to choose any one in the corners make sure that they are diffused in the noise make sure that there is no noise and you may want to have some choke depends on your image that how you want it to be visible so and then you will click ok so now you have kind of uh, a feather uh, effect and if you have like some other color background like this I'm going to give it some properties or a filling color and just give it for example a black one to be visible and arrange the layers like that and as you can see the feathers uh, the feather make uh, the our picture to look kind of blurry the other way to have like a blur effect is by uh, adding a drop down shadow so I'm going to take off uh, this feather uh, option or feather color or I mean effect and then I will add a drop shadow so I will go to the drop shadow make sure that it is screen and give it a white color search here in the distance make it zero and object knockout and check it and then opacity will be 100% then uh, we will go to our fill and go to the transparency and search for multiply and uh, have like uh, or have it screen and search the the opacity to be like 90 percent and we will need to add some background and i will make it black again so we can see our changes in our effects so basically i will have it like that and now i'm seeing the effects of my image so basically uh, i'll go like that and search for the effects go to transparency and now i will uh, give my object to be multiple like this and have kind of uh, 90 percent uh opacity or you can do other basic uh i mean other blending to have some uh blurry effect so the multiply effect uh, blending will be the more uh, suitable and make sure that you have the same option here for uh, our uh drop down shadow and search for the transparency and start to play with the opacity of our train uh, transparency and make sure that you don't go too much below 90 because it will start to be faded and not uh, be shown or uh, to will see good also you can try to have some uh, things with the fill if it will be good with your background so basically those are the two methods that you can do to have kind of a blurry effect in Adobe InDesign. Thank you for watching and see you next time.